Hey guys, so today we're going to go over House Love King again and how to gain favor in their house because a few things have changed about it and then I also have some charcoal now so I can actually show you how to make dynamite but let's go ahead and show you the locations that you're going to need to focus on. Um, so firstly, you're going to come here to the charcoal burners when you first uh, start getting favor with House Love King. And then another important location is the Salt Petri Mines. Um, if you choose to mine this yourself, then you're gonna you're gonna need to go here for part of the favor collecting. Even though it's just really preparing to make dynamite, but this is tradable, so you don't have to um, mine it your well, dig it up yourself. You can just buy it if you want. And then we're also going to head up to House Lovaking where you're going to mine sulfur, so one second. Okay, so um, the other location that you're going to need to focus on is the sulfur mine at the very top of Lovaking, And that's where you're going to gain part of your favor and where you're going to prepare for dynamite where you gain, uh, w which is when you gain another part of your favor. So let's go ahead and game and meet at all these locations and talk about it. Okay, so the first part of this is probably the worst because you have to wait for your charcoal to make. Um, but what you're going to do basically is you're going to cut down these mature juniper trees just north of these furnaces. And you need 60 for each furnace. And once you have 60, you're going to fill it up. And then you need a tinderbox and 600 GP. And you're going to light it. There's a light option on these. You'll just light it. And then the dwarf will ask if you want him to watch it. Um, you don't really have a choice, so say yes and give him 600 GP per furnace and he'll watch it and then it takes um, like 15 hours or so to get 100% and you'll get 3,000 out of each furnace. So as you can see, I've done four furnaces full so far and I, I don't plan necessarily to do blast mining, but I just have it. Uh, because it might be useful eventually and I want to have a bunch of it for if I ever actually do need it so even if you're not necessarily going for House Lova King points it's always worth it to do this because you're not gaining any um, points in Lova King which means you're not losing points anywhere else which means it's pretty much lossless because you cut these really quick trees and throw some juniper logs in the furnace and it's pretty simple so next up we're gonna head north to the salt petri mines and I'm going to show you guys how to start collecting that. Alright so now we're next to Konu and the dig salt petri uh, mine and you're going to need a spade for this in an empty inventory and the bank is right here if I go ahead and go over to the map and show you guys um, these are the salt petri mines and you're just going to want to bank here and as you can see there's these uh, one, two, three, four, five mines. It'll randomly spawn at one of these mines. So as you can see, we're at this one, um, which is right here. And you're just gonna dig it, and it gives you two per dig, and it's fairly fast. I mean, it doesn't take too long. It's it's AFK if you have time. And then you'll just bank it here and, and keep it in your bank. Um, this is what it looks like. And again, you don't have to do this because you can buy the salt petri, but um, it kind of just depends if you want to spend a little bit more money for salt petri or if you just want to AFK and get it yourself. So it's completely up to you, but you will need salt petri for the dynamite and you'll also need juniper charcoal. So I guess next let's go ahead and head up to Lova King for the mine, for the sulfur mines, and we will meet back there. So we're here at the mines, but before we get started, I just thought I should mention that you can make armor for the favor points but realistically you're probably here to blast mine so there's not really a reason to waste your time making armor when you can just prepare for a bunch of blast mining um, while gaining favor at the same time so it kind of seems lossless because you still have to make dynamite eventually anyway so you might as well make a hundred percent favor worth and um, you know you know kind of get your favor up through that way. It just makes more sense to do it that way. So um, for this part you're obviously going to need a pickaxe and you're going to need either a slayer helm, a face mask, or the gas mask from the plague quest line. And you're just going to go ahead and run out here um, and, and avoid these clouds because they do hit you. Uh, and then you're just going to mine your soul for here. Um, and as you can see you get 0.1% favor for mining one sulfur. 
Um, so while you're mining sulfur, you'll gain favor, and then when you make dynamite, you'll also gain favor. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to make dynamite now. Okay, so at the bottom of my inventory, you can see we have saltpetri, we have the volcanic sulfur, we have some juniper charcoal, and we have a pot. And you're just going to go ahead and put it together, and you will get a dynamite pot. And then you'll go ahead and want to add a ball of wool to your dynamite pot, and you will make dynamite, and you'll also gain another 0.1% favor in House Lova King. So all in all, you'll need to make around 500 dynamite for 100% favor. So it's really not that much uh, dynamite that you need to make, especially when you can buy the Petri and all you have to do is mine the volcanic sulfur and you'll have plenty of juniper charcoal when the first batch finishes. So that's how you gain favor in House of King. Again, you can do armor, but because you're probably going for blast mining anyways, you might as well just make 500 dynamite so that you can blast mine because you'll probably use more dynamite than that while you're blast mining. So um, that's been the video for how to gain favor in House Lova King. And if you guys do have any questions, just as always, leave them below and I'll try to answer them for you. And I will be back soon with another Zaya video.